Well, hey everybody, this is Buddy. I wanted to show you that is how much my bike has settled. So I raised it up. You can kind of see that the marks there, but um, man, that made it that made a difference already. Just that I don't know if I need to be higher or is it set pretty much just right, but. Needless to say, I don't have no knee pain. So that was what I was shooting for, was no knee, no knee pain. It's not completely no knee pain, but it's, uh, I can tell that it's gonna be all right. I might end up raising it up just a little bit more, but uh, I wanna get all the way back and make this a good test ride for it. Once, one thing about it, if I raise it up a little bit and it, and I feel like I'm overextended or something, I can always bring it down. But, all right, I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> I, I know it, I know it is weird that, you know, somebody that rides a bike and knows the feeling of a bike as good as I do, but I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a bike mechanic. And uh, so I don't normally adjust anything on my bike. I just trust the people at the bike shop to, you know, do it for me. But if you don't tell them and then talk to them about it, you know, something like as simple as your seat height, they'll never, they'll never, you know, it don't come across their minds. So, yeah, it, it's kind of ridiculous that I, I, I waited so long to even check and look and get the ranch out and, and do it. But so if a person like myself can make that kind of error, then. Yeah, it's, it's something that's subtle. It probably went down slowly over a period of time. But, man, I don't want to, I'm going to keep my eye on that. I don't want that to happen again. There's something about the angle of the knee and riding that it's just using the wrong muscle or something, and it causes that kneecap to go to hurting. So, if you haven't checked your seat in a long time and, uh, you don't know if you you feel like you know you got some kind of weird pain in your kneecap then get, get the ranch out and check it all right well this is about the fourth one I've seen and the lightest colored one I've seen the other ones were dark one was almost black now this one's got a lot of light orange looking color. In, in a way it's still kind of on a darker tinge, not blonde like I've seen some. Okay, I don't know the name of this road. Let me see if I can see it. Well, this is where I'm at. I'm in between subdivision right there hidden valley this right here takes me almost to where the water tower is in Ozark and then I get on in in all right so I've seen four today four woolly worms or woolly bears and I do remember in Mississippi calling them woolly buggers <laughs> all right Well, look where I'm at. I'm at Lambert's. The trees that done got so tall you can't even hardly see the sign. But I'm at the place where they throw the rose. And it's almost 12 o'clock on 4th of July. And if you hurry up and get here, <laughs> there ain't nobody here right now. You're beating the crowd. Y'all beating the crowd. Hopefully. Are y'all from out of town? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there ain't a whole lot of people waiting, just on the inside. That's good. 